Hi Warham fam, welcome back to our channel. I'm Debbie. I'm Darren. And it's the Squidge, or the Sixter. Hi guys. I was keeping my eye on you. <laughs> Love me, I am so... Right. <laughs> <laughs> Love me, I am so squidgeable. Now, if any of you wonder why we call her Squidge, look. Yeah. Look at that fluff. Look at it, look, look. at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. Look at it. And she is, she's all squidgy. Yeah. Aren't you? Yeah. Go on then. <laughs> and she's off. <laughs> right, guys. Right. So we've been squidged. Yeah, right. Right. <laughs> right. It's Fairy Loot. It's a box from the UK. Um, and this is September's one. Can't remember what the bit is for it. Um, but it's twenty-seven fifty a month, plus fat, plus postage. No, sorry. Plus postage plus that, <laughs> yeah, which is thirty four pounds sixty. Right, um, at least you, these are usually really good. You get they book are. And I mean, I'm I'm still <laughs> using stuff that I got from Fairy Loot and Illumicrate and Alcrate when we were yeah, doing it. That's um, right. The items you get are usually pretty handy, and can I just say, if you've seen the video where I got. It was the Illumicrate um, one, wasn't it? With the yeah. pot, the pot holder. I oh. had porridge today. Oh. <laughs> it was the least stressful porridge I've ever had. <laughs> it was jolly good, you know. There's jolly good what? Jolly good thing. Oh, fairy tales are more. What's that? <gasps> Mind your hand. Fairy tales are more more than true. Not because they tell us that dragons exist, because they tell us that dragons can be beaten. We beat a dragon. Yeah, you've seen the bit that they well, advertise. You get good and bad dragons yeah. like you do with people, don't you? Yeah, so. you said the bit that they advertised last month, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Thing is, well, it's like saying I remember, you know, yeah. something last year. I don't remember anything. No, no, you've seen the bit. I've though, seen it? the bit. Yeah. I'm just going to. That's mm. your lot. That's your lot. Right. right. That's Sorry. your lot. See you later, guys. See you next week. Bye. <laughs> 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 you right, sir? Right. Good girl. Right. right. So the first item is the one that Darren did say to me about, and as, it's a... as Trevor's blanket, designed by someone. Designed by oh, forensic. Forensics and flowers. All right. Right. So right. obviously, guys, I'm going to have to un. Do it. Do it. Right. Eee! Right. Eee! Right. Do we go over and I'll take it? Well, we'll see. It's going to be large. Yeah. Right. <laughs> what we we'll do is one, two, three. Darren. Right, guys. So, as Travers. So I think what I'm going to do... It's very soft. It's really soft. It is a nice... I quite like the design from what you can see of it. Yes, I thought that. Half a metre by half a metre? I think that's a forest bit there, guys. You've got a map. Another map bit. I'm guessing, well, when we get the bit, we'll be able to say what book it's from. So what we'll do is I'll get Darren to um, fold it down. Yeah, and then we'll show different bits if I can look at it more closely sort of thing. Yeah. Right, guys, so this is the one I wanted to have a closer look at. It's depending on which way the blanket goes. goes. But it is another map. It's not a yeah. forest. It's just very um, light, light it's grey. It's just you've got dark, the... It's a dark grey on... On black, but, isn't it? Yeah, this is it. It's really soft. It really, is, yeah. really soft. And actually, it's really it. It's not a wow me design, but it is. It's yeah. different, and I like it. I like the fact that yeah. it's a little bit out there from what you'd expect, really. But yeah, so. Uh, mate, it's smaller than I said. Oh, is it? Oh, I don't know, it's inches. 50 oh. inches by 40 inches. <laughs> 200, 250 grams flannel fleece. 
Right, is that? Okay. It's uh, 127 centimetres by 101 centimetres. Which is 50 inch by 40 inch. I mean, it's not just me, is it? It's like when people have, like, when we've had friends and whatnot, have babies, and they tell you their weight, and, they're well, and I'm like, hmm. so what's that in pounds? Because I'm still working <laughs> on that conversion thing. Yeah. <laughs> but yes. Right. So this is Could just be some plain packing. package paper, which... They've done yeah. quite nicely up, which means... Yeah, so it looks like they packaged something. <laughs> I mean, there's definitely nothing in there, guys. That is just paper. <laughs> but this is what I say. It's really handy to do artwork on and things like that. Yeah. Thing is, I don't know about you guys, but, I mean, my dad used to get newspapers every day posted through the post. But obviously yeah. now... With yeah, everything being anymore. online, which <laughs> means no newspapers, nothing to put down to do your bits. So yeah. that's why I keep this packaging. Yeah. It's like the joke, wasn't it? Oh. It was uh, what I said about said about everyone I said, Can I borrow the can I borrow the newspaper? He said we don't know don't have your newspapers, use the iPad. And the spider never knew what hit it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what the hell is that? this? Is it empty or they're empty? All right. right, so you've got one of these little slide along clear yeah. Baggy jobs. Yeah. So I'm just going to get these I suppose they're for travelling, aren't they? Anyway. This is brilliant. They'd, they'd be for tra I mean, going on holiday, wouldn't they? Because they're small, they're small bits, aren't they? Yes, they are. I mean, okay, so let's let's take each one at a time. So this one is Infantry Quadrant. Yeah. Um, And it's... It, I mean, it's a screw top to fill it with whatever you want, and yeah, then it's and just pop your bit. flip, pop bit, yeah. your hoofies. Obviously, yeah. I won't show oh, so that with each. This would be, this would be looking for uh, for going on holiday. Yeah. Because you're only allowed like 100 mil. Aren't yeah, you? this is it. So it's ideal, be, isn't it? Yeah. Right. This is Healers Quadrant. Yeah. I mean, I quite like the quirkiness of this. Yeah. This is it's Riders Quad Quadrant. Oh, look at that dragon! Yeah, and Scribes Quadrant. I mean, these are gorgeous. Yeah, and if you're not going on holiday, I'm not being. Oh, so they will come in handle. You could, you could put coloured like coloured water in them. Coloured yeah. water in them. Have a display there. Yeah, this is it. So, but no, they they would come in handy for going on holiday. Even if you're not going abroad, you can still use them as... Well, we never go away anywhere, as right. a rule, but... Um, well, no, it's really difficult when you call it then a Yeah, this is it. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not supposed to do them now at all. So, uh, you know, it... But I love the idea of these. I don't know that I'd use them, even if I was travelling, um, because I'm not being funny. I'm a larger lady, and I take quite a bit of... Right. Put that down behind clean. a sec. Uh -huh. so can... There you go. There you go. You get a nice good look at them. That's brilliant. I might keep hold of that just to see whether or not there's anything else. Yeah. But yeah, I I quite like that. Yeah. I really it's do. It's a bit different, isn't it? It is. <laughs> yeah. I mean and that's part of what I like what I like about these book boxes, because the stuff you get in them is so different. And quirky. And quite often, we do find uses for the items. Yeah. Um, in fact, the drinks one you're using at the moment was from a book box. Yes, it was. Yeah. From a Sarah J Mass one. In case you're wondering, I know I'm usually a Diet Coke girl, um, but Diet Coke has got incredibly expensive and we shop around on deals. But I always used to love Apple Tango. It's the only form of apple that I can actually have in a drink. Because yeah. all the others make me quite poorly or my lips swell up and bits yeah. like that. Because um, it's something to do with the process, not the apples, because I'm fine with actual apples. Yeah. So, yeah. Sugar-free apple tango now, guys. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be rude not to as I was yeah. holding it out to show you. Yeah, that's right. right. <laughs> oh, it's a raven pen. Mm -hmm. Never more. Oh, I've got some raven pins already. Right. It's a two pin one. It's a two for. So are we all ready to see what we're looking at? <gasps> Ooh. 
Excelsior. That is beautiful. What, uh, Excelsior is what um, uh, Stan Lee always used to say. I know. I've got to do a video for pen displays and bits like that. Mm. Um, I'm really, really slow. That's beautiful <laughs> and that will look lovely. Yeah. Because I have got a few different Raven ones. Right. Ooh. Ooh. One, one more, more chapter, chapter reading, reading light. light. Now you guys know I've Signed got my neck ones that I've design. got, but to be perfectly honest, with it's quite handy to have different bits and backs anyway. Just one more chapter. <laughs> oh, I haven't got one of these. Like oh, this. it goes it goes over the. Oh, look at that! Oh, you actually put it in the book because you put it. In. Oh, that is fam fantastic. Yeah. And no yeah. batteries, but. You it's know, it's normal size ones, not they're normal size not, ones, not the cell ones. That's right, mm. that is really mm. nice. Yeah. One more chapter, right, guys? Right, so no. Darren's put it was three triple, three triple A's. batteries. I remember when things used to be more double A's, <coughs> right. right? Go on, in. So, I mean, that is that actually is really, really, really nice and bright. That yeah. is well, really that good light. light. There. there you go. I mean, that's. That's really good. Yeah. That I will use. Yeah, because it lights up and it lights up just, just you can have it just over the page, so it's, it's nice and easy to read. That's right. Yeah. But yeah, and this is one of our TBR TBRs. runs. Yeah. To be read, which I'm sure you guys know because if you're looking at book, book yeah. unboxing, jobby doodles things. Yeah. But yeah, that's one of our to be read ones. Yep. Right. Now, as Darren said, I haven't actually read anything for quite some time because if you see, I have a problem with my eyes going funny yeah. and all the rest of it. That, that is really is nice, a, is a, It's not going to get no. put back anywhere, that. No. Oh. Red Rising Foiled book Bookmarks. We had some foiled bookmarks before, didn't we? Yeah. We had, um, where they from? They were from... Uh, City of Bones. Right. Mortal Instruments. To say these are in tight would be an understatement. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, that's, isn't that beautiful? That, that looks like fire going. And that's, that's the other side. Yeah. That is beautiful. That's like that. As you move that, it looks like fire. Oh, I like that as well. That's like, it's not as blingy. No. But it is still there's Very a nice. there's a nice bit of blue foiling on that. Yeah. And again, same back. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> These are very nice. We got yeah. this one. And last but not least. The red one. These are gorgeous. Yeah. And they're the same backs. Yeah. I can honestly say, I. They're beautiful. I love yeah. these boxes. I really do. Well, and even if you don't, even if you don't want them as bookmark, you can put them on a frame. Yes. They make a great bit for it. I mean, it is. It's it's stunning. Um. You know. I just I just love the items you get with these. Right. Oh, right, we've got the bits before underneath. We go to the book, we've got the bits underneath. Yeah, because so. we've got the bit of what this bun is and everything. Yes, we have. Yes. That's right. that one. So, there we <laughs> are. Yep. And that's the spoiler card, I think, for Darren yep. to tell us about. Yep. Right, so we have got two tarot cards again Ace of Moons and the Two of Moons. Uh, the tarot card set features Ad Addy as the Ace of Moons and Luke as a Two of Moons card. The characters from The Invisible Life of Addy LaRue by V.E. Schwab and were illustrated by the amazing Rs28. Right, we've also got... Right, so we have... Right, that's it. All right, we'll the bits. so you're going to go over the yep. bits first we've before we do the We've got the blanket. Book. 
get ready to be transported to an alternate reality whilst cozying up under this blanket is inspired by a darker shade of magic series by V.E. Schwab. Got the enamel pin designed by No One Designs. Spot a fellow fan of the Raven Cycle series by Maggie Stiefatter with the help of this gorgeous pin. Yeah. The Reading Light designed by Blanket Designs. A good book makes it hard to put it down. And now you don't have to read the next chapter without waking those around you with your new reading light. Foiled bookmarks. Designed by Lizard Zardonix. Uh, a set of four stunning foiled bookmarks inspired by the Red Rising series by Pierce Brown. Features Darrow, Mustang, Sir Severo and Victra. Hmm. And travel bottles. The travel by No One Designs. Uh, the travel bottle designs are inspired by Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros and features all four quadrants. Which one would you choose? Mm. Yeah. So, right. I mean, yes, 30, 30 odd pounds it is more money, and obviously, but you what you get yeah. for that is oh, and this month's, this month's theme is Invisible Truths. Right. So then, let's go for the book bag. Yep. You get a book bag in every single <coughs> fairy loot. Yep. Um, I mean, you know. Debbie keeps on thinking she's gonna she's gonna find some use for them sometime. Yes, I know. <laughs> I'm them out more. I might have to start doing giving them away in giveaways. Yeah. So you give away bags with them or something. Yeah. Right, so right. we've got... The bookmark that goes with this month's theme. Quite boring bookmark, to be fair, but... Yeah, it went with the... Come on, I mean, theme. if you're going to get them, oh, <laughs> I mean, that's ideal to put in a book, isn't it? Yeah, it's right, you don't, yeah. you don't have to worry about it. That is just a waste. Mm. Right, we have got... Oh, look at that. That's the picture that'd be from Invisible Truth. Autumnly High School... Autumn, high, autumn Fall High School. Oh, is it? <laughs> it's the, the threat goes over the top yeah, of it. Yeah, well, in my, in my defence, from this angle, that's what yeah. it looked like. Yeah, so Autumn Fall High School, boys' swim team. Mm. Oh, he looks like he's right. masked on. And that's the so letter from... That's uh, the letter you get from Miranda. Yeah. Yeah. See you on the other side. Yeah. I was going to say, so, look, say one of them looks like they're a ghost because you can see her hand through. Yeah. Right. So we'll do this last. Yep. Yeah. Right. Oh, nice. Right. I like that. Our featured book this month is If I Have to Be Haunted by Miranda Sun. It's a contemporary fantasy with portal magic to other realms and it features a ghost speaker who reluctantly, makes a deal to raise her nemesis, their high school's golden boy from the dead. Right, so before we go into full details... That's all I've got. It's um, it's got. Right, as I said, I'll haunt you for the rest of your life. You wouldn't dare try me. Yep, it's got on an exclusive Hang on. cover. So, he's shooting ahead, people. No, 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 that's the exclusive cover. Oh, that's the exclusive cover, fair enough. Yeah. So we've got sprayed black edges there look at that <laughs> that is so autumnal yeah. Yeah. Okay. I always think as I said before on different it's ones it's got that a reversible get, cover oh look at that right so first of all that's the end pages we'll yeah. do the, the start page which is beautiful I'm guessing the end page will be the same Whoop. it matches with the sides as well look at that Match with the F front as well. Yeah. It's nicely done, isn't it? Yeah. So how many pages are there? Uh, that's helpful. It doesn't say. There's not <laughs> a page number on it. Oh no, that's possibly because that isn't part that's of the page. That's about it, isn't that's it? Yes. That's a book. Right. So again, no it's got no page numbers. So we don't know how many. Oh no. That's exclusive fair that's exclusive content. Right, so this they're blank pages, so I won't count them uh, in. So it's from there. 
yeah so you've got you've got a few pages that are exclusive content for fairy loot which is nice yeah i love the leafing around the outside yeah and also okay yes it's a it's a big old book but the writing is actually pretty good size on here yeah um you know it yeah. now then so you got that so it's quite quite um anime <laughs> Have to be yeah, we've got that. Da, 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 da. Oh, look at that back page, though. Yeah. Uh, I work on the hardcover by Panprika. I mean, this is beautiful. For a lot of the pages. Did you see that, Darren? Yeah. So uh, there's a digital signature on this one. Right, so we'll just have a look for that. Big colour pages. Because we tried to remember to give you guys everything. You there it is. Once there you go. There's your digital one. I mean, I love I love her signature. Mm. I really do. I think that's really cool. Love you see that. Why it was digital, because you wouldn't want to do that on every page. Oh no, <laughs> on no. every book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. So. And it's also got a reversible dust jacket. Right. So let's have a look at the reversible dust jacket. So. Ooh. Oh. This is quite. Right. Right. Yes, so it would be that way around. Yeah, it is, yes. yeah, because that's where the writing right. is. Yeah. So there you go, guys. That is the reversible. Not quite as interesting as the other one, but... It's... No, I, I don't mind it, though. I quite like the colours <laughs> involved. Right, right, so let's tell you a little bit about the book. So, yeah. Cara's just trying to stay on top of all her classes, excel at her extracurricular curriculars and prepare for college which means not speaking to the dead an ability she inherited from her grandmother ghosts are trouble and Kara doesn't know doesn't sorry Kara doesn't need to add their problems to her own but then she stumbles upon the body of Zach the super popular but very newly dead high school golden boy in the woods and guess what he wants her to resurrect him trouble uh, Miranda's son's debut, debut touches on the power and conflicts of a mother daughter love, first romance and finding your place in the world while honouring your culture full of heart, humour and thrills, if I have to be haunted we'll put a spell on you right so here we have the lovely Miranda's son here uh, she's a storyteller by nature, wordsmith by trade, a lover of science as well as mythology. She's found, fond of, sorry, she's found, she's fond of exploring museums and aquariums wherever she goes. She makes her home in Chicagoland where she drinks iced coffee in the dead of winter and keeps an eye out for the magic hidden in plain sight. Not being funny, but I quite often think some of these authors sound like they'd be great guests at a dinner party. <laughs> I don't think she'd bore you, put it that way. <laughs> it's it's quite it's quite a thing, isn't it? You I mean to write a book, to have it published oh, yeah. and all this go into it thoughts and feelings that must you know i mean crikey it's it's fabulous right so we've heard a little bit about the book which again stands uh, up our street and we have a favorite important bit. question what snacks when you write do you have any go-to stack snacks it changes depending on my moon mood <laughs> Goodness sake, what is wrong with the English language with me? M O O N, that's when I was booed. <laughs> <laughs> A bit of a stand reference there, guys. Um, it changes depending on my mood, but peanut MMs are always a sure bet. I've also been known to be motivated by a good bubble tea. Now, I do like a peanut MM, I'm not going to lie to you people. In fact, I can't really see the point in other MMs unless no. you're, you've got a nut, nut allergy, of course. Yeah. But um, I've got to say, bubble tea, it just. I, Never had what it. What is it? 
with seven Ada balls. Same mm. to you. Yeah. This is right. Invisible Truths. And next month is Ooh. Enchanted Forest. Oh, lovely. Uh, whispered legends, ancient magic, and the allure of the unknown. Dive deep into the heart of the most bewitching woodland realm, where stories come alive and enchantments beckon at every turn. I mean... This box you can sp expect items inspired by Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies, our featured book of the month, and two Fandrum neutral items. It's, it's a strange one, this. I'd recommend it to anybody for a true love of books. Um... In fact, every time I say that, one person pops in my head that I must, must, must send a message to about these. Mm. But, um, you know, I mean, aesthetically, they're beautiful. Yeah. Um, books are usually very much my cup of tea as a rule. And, yeah, I mean, everything's just so lovely. As wonderful as the books and the artwork is, it's the extras you get with it for me. I mean, you get stuff that you don't get anywhere else, mm. and that ultimately ends up being so useful. You know, it's it just blows my mind, really. Anyway, guys. Favourite items you can't really do on these because you have to do one really, you, wouldn't you? you? It's you not just, the... I mean, normally I'd have a top three. Yeah. Um, the book can't be counted because the book's the book. Now, although I've got neck book light, I'm going to save the the light in this one. Um, the blanket comes close second, and the pin probably a close third. To be fair. Hmm. That being said, I adore these bookmarks and the bottles. So, you know... Yeah, I'll say my, my favourite has to be the bottles, because I think they're really good. They are. They're a really good <laughs> really idea. Good idea. As for, as for a least favourite, I've got a clue. No. Tarot cards. Yeah, I think, I think I'll cheat and go with the same. Now, I love these. I think the artwork on this is stunning. Mm. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you get two tarot cards. Now, mm. I don't mind particularly because you're not buying it for the set. You're buying no. it for the That's bit. Right. And, yeah. you know, these are more aesthetically pleasing than anything else. And they can go in scrapbooking or yeah. journaling or if you've got, like, your witchy ones and you want to put in. There's no hard, fast rule. Do yeah. what you want to do. Or you might even like them on your altar. It's entirely mm. up to you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah, so let's say that that was the easy out, really, more than anything else. Yeah. But guys, we want to know what you think. Mm. Um, is she an author you've heard of? I mean, from what I can work out, this is her very first book, so it's not hugely likely. But have any of you read this book? Um, you know. <sighs> What do you think? What's the difference between this and the ones you can get in the shops? Mm. Or can you get them in the shops? I mean, you know, I don't know. But anyway, we want to hear from you. Now, don't forget to subscribe and ring that little bell. We do multiple different things for unboxings. Um... But yeah, it, we like to show you things that we get. It it keeps me socialised. I've forgotten how to have a communicative, <coughs> communicative talk with people until we started doing this, um, which is a few years back now. But it's amazing how shut in you can become when you're at home all the time. So yeah. You know, you guys have been a salvation more than anything else. So let us know what you think. Yeah. So we always love to hear from you, new or old. You're all welcome. And as always, my lovelies, mm. be different. Mm. A very merry unhoo mm hoo. -hmm. And, and. Hmm. 
let's have a little cheers boop boop <laughs>